Well, hello and welcome to English with Jimmy. And today we're going to talk about kitchen utensils and equipment. Kitchen equipment and utensils are very important. We all use the kitchen. We get, we make sandwiches. We eat. We we cook. So we use the kitchen a lot. It's important that you know most of the equipment around you and you know the names in English. Okay. So we can see here a blender. Okay, and a dishwasher. A toaster to make toast, okay, a grill pan, okay, a frying pan if you want to fry something, a pot, a casserole, okay, a cooker, could be a gas cooker or electric cooker, a microwave, a uh, dishwasher or a, dry, a drainer, okay, or dryer. Uh, we also have a cake pan, a baking sheet, okay, a rolling pin if you're making bread or if you're making uh, uh, a pizza or something, a kettle. You can have an electric kettle or a kettle you can use over the gas cooker. We've got a thermo. You keep the drinks warm, okay? If you're going to work, you can take your tea and coffee with you. Okay, kitchen tools. We'll talk about them in details after. Uh, mesh skimmer. Skimmer, if you're skimming the fat of the milk or uh, or something over, uh, uh, you're making a soup or something and you want to skim it and take some of the stuff on top, you can use a mesh skimmer. Skim. You like uh, what kind of milk you like? Uh, skimmed milk, semi-skimmed milk, or full cream? So skimmed is to skim some to take the top of uh, the fat on top of the milk or something like that. Ladle, use it to taste the soup. The spatula, you can use it if you're making, uh, I don't know, mashed potatoes or ice cream or something like that. Okay. Uh, it's a slotted spatula, similar to spatula. A whisk, if you're whisking some eggs, okay, or some uh, uh, cream, okay. Uh, scissors for kitchen, grater, you can grate cheese, okay, um, scissor, you can cut the cling film or something if you're wrapping a sandwich, uh, a, a grater, like you can grate uh, carrots, onions, cheese, okay, for spaghetti, whatever, a colander, a colander, if you're making uh, spaghetti or something, you can uh, just drain them there, a bowl, you can put uh, soup or whatever, some, you're making some, some dough, for some pizza, whatever. A garlic presser, if you want to, uh, if you're cooking with garlic and you want the garlic to be a little bit, uh, to make it smaller, you can press it and take it out of it, okay? A peeler, you can peel potatoes with it, okay? Yes, peeler. Ice cream scoop, to uh, to scoop ice cream, it depends how many uh, the person wants. If you want one scoop or two or three, how many bowls you want in, uh, in your uh, dish. A can, okay, and a can opener. You can open. You can, some people have electric can openers, okay. A drainer, some bottles, and a bottle opener. That's for the normal like uh, Coca-Cola bottles, the old ones, okay. Now we have other kind of openers for like bottles of wine or whatever. A cork. That is a tongue if to hold hot stuff. If you're trying to pick some, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, you're frying something, or if you are uh, um, like putting something on a barbecue, that's a, a very useful actually to hold the meat and uh, the chicken. You can turn it up upside down and and or whatever without touching it with your finger or with a fork. It might be a little bit more dangerous. Here is a timer, spice container, uh, chopping board. You can chop. Uh, I don't know, uh, bones or anything on it. Okay, it's very it's strong. It's made of wood. A frying pan to fry eggs or fry uh, 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 steak or something if you want to do it. Okay, uh, an oven glove, a napkin. Okay, when you're setting up the table, you need to put napkins on the table. Plate, a casserole, spatula, mesh schema. We said that before. A ladle for the soup, a saucepan for sauce in the United Kingdom, and a pot in the United States. A cooker, a cleaver, meat cleaver, you can use it for uh, chopping bones and so like that, okay? A steak hammer, if you have a steak and you want to cook it and it's a little bit thick, so you hammer it with a steak to make it thinner so you can cook it quickly, okay? A rolling pin for uh, dough, if you roll in the dough for a, uh, a pizza or bread or whatever. A whisk and a pressure cooker. Uh, for cooking uh, um, any stuff you want to cook under pressure. Okay, good. Uh, apron, uh, to you wear it in the kitchen to, uh, to protect your clothes from being splashed by uh, sauce or, or, or oil or something like that. Bread basket, a teapot, 
Uh, teapot for making tea. If you're making tea, obviously, yes, the old way, no, without uh, using pa tea bags. You can uh, use tea leaves and you put it in there, okay? You pour the hot water and you uh, uh, add the tea leaves and then you leave it to brew for a while. Oh, by the way, we'll, there will be another video uh, soon about uh, the verbs that you use in the kitchen. There's lots of verbs. It's not only cooking and making that you use in the kitchen. There's other verbs. We'll discuss and talk about them in detail. So you know how to describe every time you're cooking something properly. Okay. Uh, measuring cup. If you're measuring something with a liter or, okay. Uh, baking tray. A grater. We talked about that. Uh, a pie plate. You put a pie on it. Uh, salad spinner. If you're making salad, you can put the salad there and spin it a little bit if you want to mix it with uh oil and vinegar whatever other uh, stuff you use with salad uh, colanda a butter dish uh, chopsticks if you're eating chinese food i'd rather eat with a fork and a knife and a spoon <laughs> okay a bowl uh, measuring spoons yes if you want if you're making a recipe according to a certain uh, quantities you need a, a measuring spoon wooden spoon so you don't scratch the surface of the uh, um uh, the the equipment you're using, okay, especially if it's uh, coated, so you don't scratch it. A strainer or a sieve, both are okay. Sieve or a strainer, a spoon, and then here we have a fork and a, a kitchen uh, shears or uh, shears actually too much. It should be in the in the garden. Uh, scissors is for the kitchen, okay. A cutlery. Okay, a cutlery is a knife, the fork, and the spoon. When your mom says, set the table, please, you put the plates and the napkins, and you put the cutlery on. That's a cutlery, all the three together, knife, fork, and spoon. A, a cake slicer, if you're slicing a cake, or okay. Uh, a round one will be a pizza slicer. As you know, you can slice a pizza with a round one, like a circle, okay? And then you can slice it, and everyone will take a piece, okay? Uh, a chef's knife, yes, that's a very special knife. It's a very, very sharp for cutting the meat and things like that, okay? A friend was saying to me, the pizza's round and you put it in a square box and you eat it in slices like triangles. Why is that? And I said, I don't know. And I still no one, no one knows why <laughs> the answer for that, actually, unless it's you want to teach someone about geometry, uh, uh, okay? Yes, uh, a round pizza in a square box eating in uh, triangles, all right? Yes. If we are talking about kitchen appliances, not utensils, we talk about like equipment like a fridge freezer, okay, a refrigerator, like you can see there, okay, or a freezer, okay, a kettle, a, a dishwasher, a, a blender, a mixer, okay, a coffee maker, a, uh, an oven, electric oven, or uh, a rice cooker, or a pressure cooker, or a stove, or a cooker, uh, a sink, uh, okay, a coffee grinder, if you like to make your own coffee at home, a juicer that you can put the fruits in, or the orange and make the juice for you. Uh, these are what we call appliances. So don't get mixed up between appliances and utensils. Utensils, we mean the uh, uh, small uh, uh, equipment. Like the one you see here, okay, okay, like a, a strainer, a sieve, a spoon, a spatula, a mesh skimmer, a ladle, a napkin, a butter dish. All these we call these are utensils, okay? A cutlery and a cake slicer, chef's knife, cleaver, steak hammer, rolling pin, a whisk. All these we call teapot, a salad uh, spinner, measuring spoons. These are utensils, while the appliances are the big. Uh, 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 equipment that we use in the kitchen, the major big ones, okay? An extractor, a cooker, a uh, dishwasher, a, a fridge freezer, a microwave, uh, and so on, all these big uh, uh, equipment. Uh, please remember them, okay? It's very important that when you are in the kitchen, look at every item and try to name it, okay, in English. And when you are uh, talking or uh, if you're trying to practice by uh, describing how to cook a meal or something like that, try and use the English names for them when you talk. That would be uh, an excellent practice for you, okay? Talking about kitchen utensils and kitchen appliances. So if you're describing how to cook a meal, you can say, okay, uh, uh, use the uh, colander, use the uh, spoon, the wooden spoon, use the mesh skimmer, use the ladle, and so on and so on. Well, that's it.
girls and guys, and I thank you.